Do you guys want to grow your own crystals? I do, and I bet you do too. I'm going to show you how. Let's do it. I had no idea it was going to turn out this good. You can grow your own crystals using borax. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. The first thing you want to do is get your water in your pot. Six. We're going to need six cups. Okay, so my water is heating up. We got to get that good and hot before we can add any borax. But I wanted to show you how I fashioned this piece of wire to just reach down in there, right in the brain cavity. It's for science. And then I can pick that thing up out of the water. So that's what we're going to do. But we got to get all that uh, borax dissolved in there first. So the general rule for the amount of borax to water is about four tablespoons for every cup of water. Now I've got six cups of water, so that's 24 tablespoons of borax. We're heating up pretty good. I think we can go ahead and add our first tablespoon. One. Now we're gonna stir that up and make sure it's fully dissolved. And the way you can tell is the cloudiness will go away. If it's clear, it's dissolved. I won't make you watch all this. Let's skip to the part where I have all the borax in there. All right, we've got all 24 of them in now. You can use any kind of food coloring or dye that you like. If you don't have any of that, you can use foliage. You can use a can of beets, anything. Let's do it. It's not open. Just give her a little squirt. We don't count drops around here. wife may kill me. Okay, we're dissolved. We got green. We're ready to go in. My eyes are fogging over. We're good and dissolved. The food coloring's nice and green in that bone. Uh, the real magic, however, happens when it cools. The act of heating the water actually lets it take more borax than it would if it were cold. Kind of like when you add sugar to hot tea, it likes to dissolve right away versus cold tea where it sticks around a while. So we've got a bunch of borax in water, and as it cools, those crystals are going to want to go somewhere. And they're going to go on the object that you put down in there. I've seen people online do flowers and even rocks. Science is messy. And we're just going to wait about five hours, and as this cools, it's just going to grow crystals. So you can put it in an ice bath if you really want to force it fast, but I'm just going to let it go naturally and see what happens. It's about 10.30 now, so I'll see you at 3.30. So we're just past the three hour mark. And check it out, we've got some crystals growing on the top. And then when you take a light to it, you can see them growing along all the edges. You see the skull down in there? It's not smooth anymore. It's working. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, it's been five hours. Let's get it out of there. See what it looks like.
Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Holy crap, is that awesome. I had no idea it was going to work or be this easy. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. This is Creekstain. We'll see you later.